When last we left our locked out damsel in distress, the guy in the hoodie had just used a hand pump airbag to force open her door and then charged her three times more than the base price she was quoted over the phone. I'm just curious uh, why you thought it would be a good idea to triple bill this young lady after a certain price was. Excuse me, guys. Where are you going? After he bolted into the night, we got him on the phone, and he said that since he opened the door quickly and without damage, his price was fair. And then we tried to track down the company that sent him, an outfit called Papa Locksmith, a name that is suspiciously similar to a well-established nationwide franchise called Pop A Lock. See the difference there? Papa Locksmith? Pop a lock. But when we tried to contact Papa Locksmith, the address on their website moved from New York to someplace in Oregon. We tried contacting them there, but then the address vanished from the website entirely before reappearing as a forwarding service in Texas. They're trying to avoid complaints. There's no registration paper for most uh, uh, the ghost companies. What they're trying to do is just gather as many calls as they can. Uh, you know, get the money and leave. And this was the biggest revelation from our anonymous whistleblower. These ghost companies, as Ben calls them, know that in your moment of lockout crisis, you want someone local, fast and trustworthy. So they flood phone books and search engines with companies that seem local. The best thing is to find your locksmith before you actually need one. Go to a local area that you know this guy does exist and lock his phone number in your phone so when you do need him, you'll be able to get him right away. But watch what happens when we try to take that advice and go find an actual brick and mortar locksmith shop. Now if you go according to the online listings, this one little stretch of South Plainfield, New Jersey is supposedly jam-packed with licensed locksmiths. We plugged a few into the GPS and let's see exactly what we find. Arriving at address 2341, on right. Huh. Uh, so it turns out that USA Locksmith is Actually, a Brazilian and Portuguese restaurant. And South Plainfield Locksmith is actually a CVS pharmacy. To make things even more confusing, they sometimes even copy the names of legitimate companies that exist in the same area. Isn't it fitting that this is where we'll find accurate locksmith? There is an accurate, accurate locksmith about an hour from here, but this address is literally for the birds. Hey, I'm locked out of my house. Can you guys help me? It turns out that when you call what you think is a local number, oftentimes you are reaching a call center hundreds or even thousands of miles away. The person on the phone has a network of subcontractors and even sub-subcontractors like the guys who came out to our hidden camera houses. Remember Mr. Power Drill? He was dispatched by a company called Run Local, which is run out of a strip mall in Michigan, a good 500 miles away from local. After their dispatcher quoted a starting price of 50 bucks, oh my gosh, okay. he drilled out both the knob and the sure unlocked was. deadbolt and charged seven okay. times more. Okay. You would have saved her some money. If you'd have started with this, you would have realized that you don't need to First drill the deadbolt. First of all, just box. a simple walker. If you have any question, anything, you need to call to the company and talk to them. I'm just a simple walker. I can't help you guys. Sorry. Fair enough. So let's see if we can find the big boss. Because Run Local, the company that sent him, answers over 100,000 calls a year. So someone is getting rich. And his name is Many Agababaev. First, we found him on Twitter, where every one of his tweets sings the praises of Many Agababaev as a renowned business tycoon, respected all over the world. And then we found this. Hey, what did you say? I'm sorry, Senor Alvarez, but he doesn't listen to me. He does whatever the f he wants. The screaming guy? That's him. Turns out that Many Agababaev, the owner of Run Local, is also Many Aga budding action star. We had a deal. I'm altering the deal. And he just spent some of his fortune and used some of his gorgeous cars to make a movie called Mobster, casting himself as a psychopathic criminal mastermind. Now, we could track him down in a parking lot like this reporter in Detroit. You a master locksmith or you a movie star? But I wonder what he'd do if we invited him to sit down and talk about his movie and his life. What do you know?
he agrees. So you could have picked any role in Mobster, but you chose the villain. <laughs> Why'd you pick that one? Uh, I like that one. I can make it happen the best. Because in Russia and in Israel, if you're not a biter, you will get a bite. But I did not choose to be a mobster in my real life. You could have chosen that path. If, if, I, if, I, ha if I had to do it, I could do that. You could have done it. Yes. Now, many doesn't know that I know all about his locksmith business. What if you had like a damsel in distress character, right? She's been locked out of her house. But watch his face as I suggest a new plot line for a mobster involving a stranger with a power drill. But then a guy comes in and instead of helping her, he destroys her door, drills out both of her locks and charges her $365 instead. I can see it fitting right in the plot line. What do you think? I don't think so. The locksmith business has anything to do with the movie. So it will make me more comfortable it paid for to the continue movie. with you if we separate things. But it paid for the movie, didn't it? It's, it paid for the movie, yes it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With over 200 complaints, Many's company gets an F from the Better Business Bureau. Of hundreds of your customers, mm -hmm. the Better Business Bureau, one of your former employees, say you were running a bait and switch on a grand scale across the country. Okay. What do you say to that? I'm making it happen. You're making what happen? The businesses. Taking advantage of Absolutely not. people who've been locked out of their houses and cars? Absolutely not. I service a million customers almost in six years. Show me a company in America service almost a million customers with 199 complaints. What kind of oversight do you have for the technicians you send out? We're not do you do background checks on them? We're talking movie only. Do your men ever charge the price that's quoted on the phone? Ever? We're talking mobster movie. Many referred us to his advisor, who said it is run local policy never to quote prices over the phone. Although every time we called, they did. He also says the technicians, like Mr. Power Drill, are not their employees. And once they determine the price, the customer can always refuse. What if you gave free tickets to Mobster to every run local customer? So they get a better sense of, you know, the guy running the company. That's a good idea. Am I going to do that? <laughs> so what, what happens in the end? to the mobster. You gotta, Does he get justice? You gotta wait and watch the movie all the way to the end. So, as many goes back to setting people on fire in Hollywood, a few tips to avoid getting burned before your next lockout. First, get a solid price quote over the phone beforehand. Be cautious if you're told up front that the lock has to be drilled and replaced. An experienced locksmith can pick almost any lock. And if you see a locksmith shop in your neighborhood, drop in, say hello, get their number. So you know exactly who to expect on nights like this. I accidentally just locked myself out of my house. Stay on the lookout, because we're back undercover, this time to investigate TV repair, with a whole team of senior sleuths ready to roll. And look out for what happens when Granny Chang takes off the wig. Do you always charge people for repairs that you don't do? For a talk with the TV repairman. You don't want to stop and talk? 